G'day folks, I just thought I'd show you how I went getting the uh, temperature control back together again. As you can see, it's not the neatest of work, but it actually works. I don't know for how long, but it will. Uh, only reason I did this was because I accidentally connected it up while it was still connected to the uh, 110 volt line instead of 240. Because the equipment cabinet that it came out of, I uh, was on a Ingersoll Rand Centac, a 600 horsepower uh, centrifugal compressor and this was used for monitoring temperatures in each of the stages but unfortunately what few controls were 110 volt this was one of them and I didn't realize that until I popped it so yeah it's in a nice enclosure now it's just an old motor power supply from work uh, we threw a whole bunch of stuff out recently and I grabbed this along with a few other plastic boxes it also had a bunch of old glands and things floating around inside so it was perfect Put a plug in where the key switch would normally go and uh, stuff some glands and things in there. A little barrier strip for the thermocouple to go in. Remember, type K thermocouples yellow is uh, positive and red is negative. Kind of counterintuitive, but that's how they work. And yeah, I just painted over the decal on the lid so it doesn't look like something from my work. Well, not that they care, I just don't want people knowing where I work. So yeah, decal's been painted over but that's in there. I'll probably mask off the front of the control and actually paint the whole box. Just cover it in the uh, flat etch primer which seems to have taken to the uh, decal quite nicely too. It's actually bitten in quite hard. It's good stuff. The box is ABS so yeah. There we go. Another little tool for the workshop. I think I've got three or four thermocouple units including their end housings and terminal boxes. Uh, you just, I just pulled them all off, off each stage of the uh, air compressor as we scrapped it. So, always good to find. Very good to find. Actually, I rarely, rarely see temperature controls, especially not K-type thermocouple controls that go up really high. So, that's a good addition. You can use it for monitoring engine temperatures, oil temperatures, exhaust gas temperatures, anything like that. If I build a... Um, jet turbine engine I can position this in such a place that it will safely read exhaust gas temperatures without damaging the thermocouple. Good stuff. Anyway, I hope this uh, gives somebody a bit of an idea on what I've done. I know the power supply is crooked, it did move, but it's sitting on a bed of silicon so there's nothing I can do now. It's all cured. So yeah, enclosure's not waterproof enclosure broke as I was cutting it out with the jigsaw and it's also got bolt holes and things in the bottom I'll try and close some of it up but if anything I'll put it on an angled plastic base so it just sits up like that I can leave it on the workbench sitting up on an angle and you can read it quite easily so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned for more I've got plenty in store in this workshop <laughs> and plenty of bigger projects